What's up, my wonderful sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed morning to you all. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. All right, my viewers and subscribers. So, you know, rise and shine, rise and shine, man. West Indies and Bangladesh going to be doing battle in you know, a couple of minutes' time, maybe an hour time, depending on when you are hearing this video. But um, the first test will kick off uh, this morning. And it, it's pretty interesting because, you know, it was last night I was taking a look at an interview that was done by Brian Lara. This interview was done a while back, I think around about in March or something like that, around about March 23 of this year. The interview was done and, you know, Lara was basically saying that it's disappointing to see the youngsters um, turning their back on test cricket or not wanting to play test cricket. This is exactly what he's saying. Uh, disappointing to see young um to see young cricketers leaving test cricket and you know brian lara has actually suggested a couple of things that um a couple of things that icc needs to do in order to make sure that the quality of the cricket continues as it relates to test cricket and you know players are not only running down the franchise cricket and it, it you see <laughs> i think i think it's a relevant topic right now even though the interview was done a while back because we have a couple of young we have a couple of players in the test team right now that I am thinking, you know, they, they probably if they get the opportunity to play T20 cricket, it's going to be the same thing. You know, some of who we have in test cricket is because, in my opinion, is because they are not getting the lucrative um IPL contracts and all of those contracts while they are still um dedicated towards test cricket because you have to earn some way, some all right. So let, let me just read a couple of things that Lara had to say. Now Lara is quoted as saying, and I quote, playing for, playing for the country should come first because I played for West Indies and other opportunities opened up for me. It's disappointing to see cricketers leaving test cricket. So a lot of, pre, a lot of persons share the same sentiment that, you know, playing for one's country should come first. And when you play for your country, that is what will open up a lot of opportunities. These days is IPL or PSL or, or, or whatever it is, Big Bash, you know, back in Lara's day, in Lara, Lara's day, you know, it would have been probably county cricket and a couple of, of other leagues and things like that. But you see, the, the, the thing is changing so much. I, I believe in putting a country first and playing for, for your country. But thing, things are changing so, so much now, guys. We're, um, you know, I don't want to take it political or anything like that, but when you, when you look at what some of the boards doing to some of the players and, you know, and, and, and a whole, the whole nine yard and all of that, players are always going to, going to try and choose things that are, 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 are actually best for their future or things that will, will secure, you know, their future and their family future. It's really sad. And as Lara is saying, test cricket, you know, is the ultimate form of cricket and playing for one's country should come first, you know, but um, there, there are a whole lot of factors these days, whole lot of factors, my viewers and subscribers, you understand? I remember one, I remember Laura always saying this, you know, um, he was actually asked, you know, if he, if he regret that he wasn't, well, he didn't come around maybe uh, 10 or, or 15 years later, you know, so that he could be, 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 be engaging in all this T20 cricket and, and all of that. You know, and his answer was basically no, because he could look back and say, you know, he, he actually regrets that he wasn't, he wasn't around probably 10 or, 10 or so years earlier, where he would have been a part of the dominant West Indies team of the 70s, 80s. You understand? So, um, as I said, there's always, there's always a way to look at something. And um, it would have been good to see the Prince playing some of these cricket. But apparently the man is thinking that, you know, it would have been good to, not only to, 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 to dominate um, for himself, but to have won a few things, a few trophies with West Indies. I understand um, ICC Champions Trophy, we'll remember that and thing. But, you know, according to him, it would have been good to, to, to be on those dominant teams, even if he did not have the world record and all of that. So, you know, we, we see that this is a man that is that seems as if he's all about West Indies and all for Test Cricket. Why not? Test Cricket brought him all the glory and all the fame. And, you know, as I said, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting that this interview was once again circulated right as we are about to take on Bangladesh in the first test. 
as I said, it was done in from in the mid part of March or, or in the 20s, somewhere there about. And you know, it was actually sent to me last night, and I'm I was saying to myself, hmm, funny how this interview was done a while back, and and, and it just starts circulating now, right as you're about to start um, another another um you know another another test series anyway. Lara also spoke about the, the, the former Australian great Shane Warren, you know, saying that we, and I quote, we have been involved in some fascinating duels, but after the day's play, he would leave everything behind and have a drink with you as a, as a competitor. He, um, he says, as a competitor, he articulated um, the, the, the right way and um, the right issues, you know, he said his influence and his positivity and all of that were all there for everybody to see. So, you know, I mean, you, you, you develop camaraderie, camaraderie and all of that now playing franchise cricket and thing and, 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 and thing. But it's, it's, it's always good to see, it's always good to see the, the, the teams, the, the countries going up against each other. And, you know, if this cricket is going to be watered down, then it's, it's going to be really difficult for, 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 for us to have those entertaining duels that, um, that like we used to have after Lara and the... And the and the Shane Warren and the McGraw and all of them guys, Brett Lee and, you know, so, um, as I said, I, I don't want to overcast or overshadow the test match that is about to start, but I just figured that, um, because this article was, well, not say circulated, but resurfaced right as we're about to start. I'm just thinking that it can definitely, um, apply to some of the youngsters here. No, they are in the team. The opportunity is there. And they just need to go out there and grab it with both hands. You know, we have young Jaden Seals in the team. Goody Kish Moti, who I think is definitely um, searching for, for, for one of those lucrative contracts also. But we know it's a little bit difficult, more difficult when it comes on to, 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 to spinners. Especially going down into India and those sort of places to get contracts. So, as I said earlier um, on a live that I did yesterday... I am thinking that the ideal thing for these guys, especially some of these young spinners, to do is to establish themselves in test cricket, you know, develop their art, try and, and, and perfect it, and then who to tell opportunities will definitely open up. We would have seen players that would have mastered test cricket go on and, and do a job in T20 cricket. You know, people like, um, like, like, like Kane Williamson, people like, you know, those guys, all of the guys that you can think of that are dominating or that would have dominated T20 cricket, those are guys that have sat, that, that would have developed solid fundamentals of the game. The, the A.B. De Villiers, the Chris Gale, the Virat Kohli, all of them that you can look at, my viewers and subscribers, they would have done the hard yards when it comes on to test cricket and, you know, they would have developed in such a way that they are comfortable to basically adjust and, and, and change their game a little bit um just for 20 overs because i mean if you are if, you know not every not all test players will be able to do that but you know if you have the mindset to play test um to play t20 cricket and you are not getting the opportunity and you can make the test team then that is where you, the, the, the opportunity presents itself for you to stay and, and and work on your craft you understand if you're a bowler you work on different type of deliveries batsman you do the same thing work on work on, on, on different shots and things like that you have more time to occupy the crease you know running down the, the, the franchise cricket i can understand his money but running it down doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to be great at it you might have it in the back of your mind that yeah i can manage this but when you look at it you know you, you get exposed simply because they are you know you don't really have a lot of um what you would call foundation so when you're going on the pressure hits then you start toppling all over. But, you know, as I said, it's, it's, it's a good word from, from Brian Lara right before the, 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 the first test match here, you know, to just so the youngsters probably for cities can, remember, can, can be reminded that the country, uh, their country should come first and, um, you know, and things like that. Lara even went on to say that the ICC should find a way to implement a strategy where or implement something where players have to play a certain amount of um, games for their country before they can really roam free and all of that. So I don't know if that is ever that is something that is going to ever happen because of the powerhouse um, that, that, are, that is actually involved in T20 cricket and IPL. You know, those guys, you can say they are the powerhouse where, international, where, where cricket is concerned. So I don't know if the ICC is going to do anything to upset them. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, West Indies and Bangladesh do battle in the next couple of hours time. So let us just um 
look and see what's going to happen hopefully we can have a couple of guys standing out all right my peeps blessings